foot up on the other, and I think like Alex Green, like you said, and, and Katie Zellin know each other inside and out, and I think there'll be real interesting tests tonight all over the pitch in terms of the 1v1 challenges and battles. You may notice perhaps tonight in a slight change, a rare change, it is not blue against red on the pitch. It will be in their hearts, but not on their shirts. Manchester United in red, as you would expect, Manchester City wearing a special shirt, a grey shirt with the black shorts to commemorate the Chinese year of the Wood Dragon. Reminder, you can watch this game on City Plus if you subscribe now. And watch all the best action. The players take the knee ahead of kick-off to continue the fight against the area. Away by Alex Greenwood. Chloe Kelly, so used to be deep in an attacking third, is deep in a defensive third as Zellum swings it in. And the key to Paris, lurking for a head. Sunday is Kelly. Moving out, taking on that shot, which takes a deflection and throws it out to Kasparai. Nice little back heel, Kelly. Challenge comes in from Messier Chase. Well, infield doesn't work first time. Coombs from distance, it is going to dip, but not soon enough. Goal kick Manchester United. I've enjoyed Laura Coombs this season as well. I mean, she's really kind of blossomed in that, that role in the midfield. Tight defensive position, but she runs into traffic. Early delivery in, might come to Nikita Paris, who takes the shot on, Keating with a big save, and Manchester City will just have to hack this clear, whichever way will do. It's a great Nikita. save from Kiara Keating, if I, if I may, Mike. Um, Get around. Guerrero. Kelly. Short. Didn't quite get the connection she wanted, but it was a tricky manoeuvre to make for Bonnie Short. Scored against Manchester United back in November. And just put off in... I've seen some of that at the weekend with Chelsea, and, and you know, some people have argued that they... Oh, shots going from distance to try and beat Keating, who was off her line. It was wide in the end. And Manchester City survive another little nervy moment. Garcia capitalising. She knew where that pass was going, intercept. And Dahl's there again in support. And this is Kasparai, this is well worked from Manchester City. Lovely footwork from Kasparai. In at the near post, but it's behind from United. Letizia with some last minute defending to deny Lauren Hemp getting a look in on goal. Corner to Manchester City. And that's so much better from City in terms of Chloe Kelly and, and, and Kirsten Kasparai have recognised that they've pulled the back line. Get off, Angle Dahl. Looking for that bottom corner. Millie Turner in the way. Here's the Swede again. Won't find Chloe Kelly. Phil Rod, off early with an injury, takes her seat back on the bench. Manchester United sloppy. This is the chance for Bunny Shaw, who capitalised on a United error in November, but is denied here by Fallon Tullis Joyce. Nearly for Manchester City. And I mean, that is an odd decision from Maya Leticia. It's really, really risky in terms of the pressure that she's getting from Bunny Shaw. It's wrong side for Katie Zell. That nervy moment a few seconds ago. Here's the chance for Guerrero. Well, a snapshot that had Keating scrambling, but it's wide at the left hand post. And it's a goal kick to Manchester City. But in an instant there, United just showed they're not quite fading yet in this game. And you can see the idea there, you know, in terms of Lucia Garcia down this, this near side here. Hemp. Low ball in, Shaw, clever control, Bunny Shaw hits the goalkeeper once and sends the ball wide. Another important stop for the Manchester United goalkeeper, perhaps. Hemp's delivery, Shaw knew where to be. Good save from Fallon Tullis Joyce initially. Spread herself well to deny Bunny Shaw. And then she had to hit the second shot first time. Traffic. But United haven't dealt with that. Kasparai looks for Shaw.
Well, she wasn't far away again, Bunny Short. Kasparai looked up. One touch to control, one to send it in. That might have been a corner. If that just comes off the... And Alex Greenwood who goes down. Paris with a delivery in the box, away by Alexandri. Lundell. Here is Williams with the back heel, the shot from Nelson. He's saved well by Keating. Well, there'll be questions whether the play should have continued with Alex Greenwood down. United just kept the ball going, won the second ball. Kelly, cutting in from the right, switches it onto her right, and goes for it and hits the post. It'll come to Hemp, who sees her shot wide of goal. Chloe Kelly coming in from the right is always a danger. And when there was nothing available to her, a clever switch of feet. It had been in the goalkeeper, but it couldn't beat the upright. And it's the closest that Manchester City have come in this game. And we're eight and a half minutes into added time. And that is all we'll have in this first half then. Chloe Kelly hitting the post, the closest City have come in a tight tactical battle. It started brightly for the Reds, it takes it all. Arms folded, she means business, Huey Hatagawa, and proceeding start then. United in red for the second half, are uh, left to right. Hemp has space. And crosses it in. Where's the loose ball coming? Chloe Kelly, that's clever, Kelly! A fast start from Manchester City in this second half. Propels them to the top of the group. And as it stands, a place in the League Cup quarter-finals. Well, if Manchester United didn't have enough of a warning at the end of the first half, they certainly got it then. Great ingenuity from Chloe Kelly to change the feet, to fool the defence. And to power it into the back of the Manchester United net, and it's City 1, United 0. What a strike from Chloe Kelly to absolutely set that up perfectly for a right foot, and what a connection she makes, and you can see the back of the net. Runners up across the six groups in the Continental Cup. They might get their chance here, it's Paris! And Chiara Keating, who clutches that ball so gratefully. Paris had to do better, and she knows it. And City maintain their 1 0 lead. Yeah, I'll be honest, that's poor from Nikita Paris. You know, in terms of it's a great run, a lovely ball in from Lucia Garcia. But, you know, really the execution there, you'd expect Paris to go back across the keeper, but she just connects and it goes. Is that a foul? I don't think it was, neither does the referee. Short. Soft and used being in the box is now the provider. And then the shot comes in onto the bar from Lauren Hemp. She's taken that really, really well. It's well worked from Bunny Shaw to, you know, keep the, the corner alive. She, she recirculates it, gets on the seconds, and then makes an opportunity by getting the ball into the area. Um, you know, United were a bit sixes and sevens. Was it a foul, was it not? And I think Lauren Hemp's done really, really well to peel off the centre-backs and create that space for herself. She brings it down onto her chest. And just unfortunately, I mean, she puts it on target, to be honest, to find out that United were signing her. Um, well, she faces stiff competition with Mary Earps, doesn't she, for the, for the number one shot. United with the header, and Ella Toon nearly with an instant impact. Oh, and that was her moment. Like, oh, she'll be really, really disappointed with that. She'll have known, ex well, expected to do better, but, you know, Lucia Garcia does well to get the ball in, particularly across... Uh, Kirsten Kasper, I could could she have moved her feet a bit more and get that left foot out as opposed to going with the Manchester United under these guises City since 2014 United in 2018 it might get better for City here it's oh! in. Get in and that should seal Manchester City through to the quarterfinals of the League Cup as easy as they come for Lauren Hemp 
and it's Manchester City 2, Manchester United 0. And it's a fantastic ball into Philippa Engel, though, who finds that space. There's far, far too much space in that midfield. She's all alone. And it's a great ball out to Chloe Kelly, who finds the overlapping Kirsten Kasparai, and she gets the ball into the area. And my goodness, it is the easiest goal that Lauren Hemp will probably ever score. But, you know, it takes a touch off the United goalkeeper and, and, and lands just perfectly at Lauren Hemp's feet. But, yeah, really, really well worked. That overlap was massive for Manchester City. Kasparai, who's just got a rare assist. A couple of times in this game, she has been given that license to go forward. Here's Shaw. No sweeping ball in! Oh. And Hemp so close to the double. Honestly, Mike, I think that's actually easier. Sorry, that's harder to miss than it is to score. Just a bit of a bobbling ball, but look at this ball, the detail from, you know, Bunny Shaw to be able to whip it in. Bit of, bit of curve on it as well, beyond that back four. And how on earth is Man United left? Not a bad observation for a man who scored two own goals in a cup final at primary school level. <laughs> He's into my career. Evans, again, could have done better there. That side's been given anyway, yeah. On the layback. Manchester United want to set up a nervy finish. JC. Did she go for goal or did she? Chloe Kelly with the delivery. Another Wahabi. Come back to the Spaniard though. Had a little look there. Still got five minutes left here, so stick the traitors on record. Here's JC. And it's in. Oh, United have made this a nervy ending. Nikita Paris, the former Manchester City player, has set us up for a grandstand finale. JC and Paris on the line with a clever back heel has halved the deficit. And Manchester United no. Another goal takes this to penalties and puts them in prime position for qualification to the quarterfinals. Morgan did enough to put Mallard off. And City stand in JC's way. Or today. JC saved by Keating, and it's a big one. At the very end, Kiara Keating makes an important save. City just never got the look of the ball. JC most certainly did, but couldn't fire it past City's number one. And a big moment for the 19-year-old that might just have sent City into the last eight. It has sent City into the last eight. A tight affair that City triumph over Manchester United yet again on home territory. Chloe Kelly and Lauren Hemp gave them a vital and crucial two-goal lead that meant even when Nikita Paris had the deficit,